Mr. Truck here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm at the Chevy event showing us the new 2.7 four-cylinder turbocharged that Chevy just came out with. You can't buy it yet. So we tried all three of these. We got the Ford with the 3.3 V6, no turbo. It's a six-speed XLT. We did the Ram. It is a 3.6 Penstar with the e-torque and it's an eight-speed. And those two both have 355 rear ends. Now the Chevy has that 2.7, the new four-cylinder inline four turbocharged with an eight-speed. And it's only four driving a bunch. We just did some short laps to see what they felt like. And the 2.7 was very aggressive. The turbo had a little bit of lag, but it actually accelerated better than the other two. Of course, it's only turbo, so you'd expect that. This is what we're going to be playing with the next few days to see how well performance kind of fuel mileage is going to get. And it had the 342 rear end. So very close configurations, very close on price. Of course, the four drive is a liar. But come join us to find out the rest of the cool stuff that we're going to learn about this 2.7 Chevrolet. Four banger. This is the new Chevy 2.7, which is a four banger, but it's a big four banger. Four large cylinders. It says all those cool things. We're going to talk about that to the engineer in just a little bit. But, you know, this thing, we all think the claim to fame is fuel mileage, but it's actually their entry level engine for the, the I'd say, upper to middle lineup of their models. Yeah, volume model. They still have the 4.3, but this, uh, and that on the, like a work truck would be what you'd get as a starting engine, but on the you know, a few models up, you get the 2.3, and it's turbocharged. It has a really cool cam that slides and adjusts and all that. And this one is a two wheel drive. We figured out this was an LTZ, is that what we thought it was? RST. RST. Here's okay. a new model. It's an RST, two-wheel drive crew cab, and it's pretty loaded for 50,625, but it's a 342, so it's a very normal ratio for Chevy for towing. But I think one of the biggest stories about this, uh, if I'm not wrong, is that it's rated at 20 miles a gallon a city, which is very, very good. Uh, I'll compare those two to the other two. But that's where this one comes in at. It's 23 on the highway, 21 on the combined. But I think that's where it shines. It's 20 in the city. Uh, Four-wheel drive might be just a little bit lower than that. And this one is the one that they did all the things I wanted to do. They straightened out the steering wheel. They moved the brake controller to the right side. So really happy with this truck. Let's see, 60 is still straight ahead, right? Right. Okay. You want to get lost more than once today? doing good. We're already in the off-road with the Colorado. Now we're playing with this new 2.7 and it, it, it'll get up and scoot. Yesterday we drove it alongside a Ford 3.3 V6 and the Ram 3.6 V6. So we had 3.3 and 3.6. They had the same axle ratios. They were like a 355. Can I throw in a comment? Sure. We just uh, did a kind of a wide open throttle there. And what I noticed is that there's a lot less drama in this engine. It has about the same time to torque as either of the other competitors, but this one uh, was no. There were no fireworks. Yeah, there was no explosions. It just <laughs> got up and did it. Yeah, yeah. It's a very smooth engine, and you notice it at the get up go that it'll have a little bit of turbo lag. I think a trader would calm some of that down, but uh, it's an interesting engine. It's a very complicated engine, and I'm gonna through that with the engineer and try to explain it and it, uh, it's like a double fluted uh, turbo that lets the air come in from two different runners I think it's the first one and the last one but it's uh, it's all about getting power of a little a little box and that's what they're doing here but it's it's nice I mean these Silverados I love them they're quiet they're easy to drive they've always been some of the best handling trucks out there Got the new mirror down on the pedestal on the door instead of in the window. We're coming out with some trailer toy mirrors here shortly. But yes, indeed, in here in Arizona, we're somewhere past Scottsdale, somewhere northeast of there, driving through the canyons, the mountains, and the cactus. But uh, I think this is uh, this is interesting. That's why I've been doing a wide open throttle occasionally, passing somebody just to see what the feel is like. And it's it's good. It's good. It's actually, I like how it takes off. It's not a racehorse, but it's certainly not a dog. It actually accelerates fine. 
Mr. Truck here, yes, I'm still in Arizona. I'm talking to Kevin Lachansky. He is like what, big engineer for this 2.7? What, what, what is your department called? I'm the assistant chief engineer for the 2.7. Okay, so you helped develop it or, you, or what did you do with it? I actually did help develop it. Yeah, I was one of the first people to work on the engine. Well, tell me all about it, it really yep. sounds cool. I mean, it's a big four cylinder. Yep. I mean, you, know, you, got, you got billet camshafts, you got all this cool stuff that I have no idea what it is. So tell me how it works. Yep. So we really designed the engine to focus it on low end torque. And you were driving it a lot today. You could feel that low end torque, the below 2000 RPM, basically almost instantaneous torque. Oh yeah, it goes a red line fast. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Yep, super fast. So you're driving it, uh, zero to 60, 6.8 seconds, right? So fast, um, we think it's gonna be really good for you for towing. Um, you know, it's, it's going to deliver the torque that the customer well, towing is what we're going to find out about when we get to yeah, Colorado. You're pretty excited about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is all about trying to save some fuel. And yep. and it is, you know, it's, how many horsepower and torque is it? It's 310 horsepower and it's uh, 348 foot-pounds of torque, which is more important from 1,500 all the way to 4,000. Yeah, because so it, it's a so super it's, flat, broad torque curve. Right. That's yep. what I looked really, at really when I saw big. that, how flat the curve is. That's, yep. that's like a diesel truck. You get the torque instantly and Very it stays always in the light. band. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That's that's the kind of engines that I like. Yep. So I mean and, I and most customers do. That's that's where the heart of the driving is. So we really tune the engine around that and the big four cylinder gives us some of that instantaneous torque because of where the turbo's packaged, how how the pulses hit the turbo with the dual volute turbo. Um, basically spools the turbo up, it makes it very efficient, very quick boost fast. So building about 22 pounds of boost in this. You know, I'm an old farmer, so we had used to have inline six diesels. Yeah. And that is easier for those to build the torque than a V8. Is an inline four, is it easier to create torque out of that, that configuration or is it doesn't matter? It's one of the things that we looked at, yeah. So the four cylinder has some advantages over some of the different engine architectures. And the four cylinder with the big cylinders, it, it acts like a like a sledgehammer effectively and it's hitting that turbo with a lot of oomph and spools it up fast. Cool, so like an old big John Deere tractor. But, it was but super, super smooth as, as yeah. you saw. So it's not it's not vibrating or anything like that. It's very, very smooth. And these all come with this eight speed? Yes, sir. Okay, now can you explain in simple terms how that camshaft slides, how that moves? Yep. It's got different lobes on it, I guess. Yeah. So you got more power, less power for fuel yeah. efficiency. Yeah, so that brings us to, um, we've been talking and focusing on the performance of the engine, but uh, another attribute of the performance is the good fuel economy that the engine provides. So um, we're trying to give the customer um, everything. So we don't want to give up anything. And we've done that. The, the performance is not only the turbo, but it's also the camshaft. It's efficient fundamentals on all of the engine components. So friction we paid attention to. Um, the camshaft is, is pretty unique. It's a three-step sliding camshaft. Um, it is made from billet, as we discussed last night, um, in-house. And what it provides is uh, the ability to shut off two cylinders. So we use uh, active fuel management. And when you're running light loads, um, you can run basically half the engine. Then we turn the engine back onto all four cylinders and run on low lift, which is another efficiency enable. And then when you need to make full power, you go to high. Cool. So three steps, and um, it's it's actually a pretty simple system. When you when you looked at the hardware last night, uh, there's an axial cam. The pin pops into the axial cam, and it and it chucks it over. Um, so in one cam revolution, we can go from active fuel management to low lift back to four cylinders. So from two cylinders to four cylinders, and then in one more cam revolution, we can go to high lift to full power. Cool. Now is so it direct? Is it direct? Super injection? fast. It is direct. Injection. It is direct. Cool. Yeah, that's a good question. And did we talk about the oil pump? We didn't talk about the oil pump. Okay, something special about the oil pump. Yeah, so I was mentioning um, efficient fundamentals for us was do everything on this engine as efficiently as possible to reduce waste, like on friction. So one of the, one of the other enabling technologies we put on this was the oil pump. Um, so what it does is um, normally when you're designing an engine, you've got a fixed displacement oil pump and it needs to be designed for higher engine speeds. What we're able to do is move the displacement of the oil pump continuously and dial it into exactly the oil flow and pressure that the engine needs, which is really important for a high output engine. 
Well, yeah. I mean, this is yeah. sophistication. You know, you got the right lubrication, but why waste it? You don't yeah. want to waste it. Exactly. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Well, thanks Absolutely. a lot. Yeah. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Now I almost understand how this engine works. Mr. Truck here with another engineer review. I am with Scott Damon, and he is what kind of an engineer are you? I am the lead development engineer for the all new 2019 Chevrolet Silverado. Wow, lead development, that's yeah. like way up there, isn't it? I mean, we do all the vehicle integration on the truck, so we're vehicle performance side. Okay, yeah. well that's cool. Yeah. Now, the this 2.7, Yes, sir. Is you know what this is all about this trip, and we're trying to figure out why it's so great and what makes it so great. And we just heard from Kevin yep. about how it's built and what it does. But tell me how this works in your lineup. I mean, I, I know it's a small engine, and everybody yep. thinks this should be competitive with a 274. Well, they're totally different. Correct. V6 Correct. twin turbo versus four cylinder single turbo. That's right. And that's like their midline. And so explain to me the lineup of your trucks, and of course, you know. The same thing with Ram. They got the yep. three six and they got the the five seven. So try and explain to me how all your that works in, so that we know what to compare. Because right now I think a lot of people are confused. We all want to compare it yeah, to that four two seven. And that's and then we really need to get this out here so we know exactly where this plays. So this is our base engine. So what we're standing in front of is an RST truck. So RST for us is an LT without chrome. So we have no chrome bumpers. Oh, uh, yeah. The two point seven turbo is our base engine. Where this competes is with the Ford three point three liter. Okay, and also the Ram 3.6 liter uh, um, engine. Uh, for the customers that want something a little bigger, maybe they tow, need a little bit more tow capacity. For us, they would jump up into the 5.3 V6. For Ford, they actually go up to the 2.7 twin turbo, right? And so that's the big story that we need to be able to tell. This is our base, our 2.7 turbo is our base engine. Where okay. Ford's 2.7 is actually their their next up level engine. Okay, so it can be yep. the 3.3 and the 3.6. Correct, correct. Okay. Yeah, for okay. our for our direct competitors. And then from there, if we need even more, we have the the class leading 6.2 liter with the 10 speed trans, right? Right, against so, the big boys on the big, on yeah, exactly, Ford. Exactly. Okay, yep. cool. Well, that, that's that's neat to know because you know I, we're all thinking differently, and we're sure, thinking it's sure. all about some super fuel mileage thing, yeah. but we're not thinking about the right class of engines. And I'm glad you cleared that up. Right. Is there anything else? We I mean, look at a giant air filter on this thing. This thing's yeah. got an air filter. We're, the size of a Mack truck. We're obviously still thinking about efficiency <laughs> and fuel economy with this engine, right? This yeah. engine gives a lot of value to our customers, right? It was built from the ground up as an engine, it was, or as a truck engine. It was never ever designed or planned to go anything else but this truck as you sit here, right? So as Kevin touched on, right, the durability and the performance all the same as what our 5.3s have to go through, our 6.2s have to go to go through for durability. Yeah. So again, it's a truck engine from day one. It's our it's our base engine, and we're competing with the the 3.3 liter Ford and the 3.6 liter uh, Dodge Ram. Okay, so this is a standard engine in like your mid 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 size right. trucks or high mid, volume trucks. High volume trucks, yep, because correct. you still like the 4.3, right? We still have the 4.3. Is that even a work, work truck? Yes. And the custom. Okay. Correct. Okay. Correct. So that's that's again for for customers that are looking for something. Um, it's a little bit older technology, right? So we can we can offer it at an even better value, uh -huh. where there's a lot of technology here, right? And that that's what makes this great value for our customers that look. For a base engine in their in their uh, high volume truck. Okay, so like an LT and above, this is the standard engine. Is uh, that, is that so correct? For LT, once you get to LTZ, the the base engine becomes the 5.3 liter. Oh, it does. Right? Okay, I'm confused on that. 5.3 liter and 6.2. Okay, so there's there's just a couple of models that this is the standard engine on that. Correct. Okay. Correct. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, now we know. Yep. And we'll find out that this engine, I, I really enjoyed it. You know, yesterday great, I drove great. all three brands. Yeah, back and I, to could, back. I was scooting down the road, and today, yeah. I mean, it was accelerating time, just a little bit of turbo lag. But I think when they get a trailer on here, it'll solve that. So get me a trailer <laughs> on here, and yeah, we'll know yeah, everything. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, you're going to get a truck here shortly, and you'll be able to do your, your full trailer well, workup. We'll hit the mountains. And we're excited for you to do it because it, it is a full size truck, and it performs like a full size truck. So we want you to put some stuff in the bed. We want you to put a trailer on it. Right, the two seven does not limit it from being an actual truck. It performs like a truck. Okay, right? it's so. just a little different to get used to. So that's right. That's I'm, right. I'm working on it. Well, thanks, yep. Scott. All right, thank this you. This is cool. All right. Tons of pickup truck questions, right? Right. Where do we go for the answers? We go to the truck nuts book because we're truck nuts. <laughs> and we wrote the book, truck nuts. We're nuts about truck. 
the ultimate guide to buying a truck or yep. to looking at a truck or judging a truck, you know, whether it's diesel versus gas, new versus used, what your teenagers should learn about trucks, all that. You do all kinds of cool tests. Yeah, we do a lot of testing. We do the Ike Gauntlet, world's toughest towing test up the mountain and down the mountain. We do MPG testing on the highway, loaded with trailers. Yeah. We do off-road testing. A lot of that data is in this book as well, and it's a one-stop shop for truck information. That's true. We test trucks maximum capacity up to biggest grades you can do on the interstate. Yep. So we really put them to the test. And, you know, you can get all the facts you can't find anybody else. We do MPG tests which you can't find on any sticker anywhere. So, you know, all that stuff that you can't find is in the book. And you can find the book at trucknutsbook.com. There are links to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and all the other bookstores as well. So read about your truck nuts. <laughs>